Uh, should we head on out to David Muir, who's in Columbus, Ohio, and was out among voters today, right there with them on the lines. David? Hey there, Diane. You know, you were talking to David Plouffe a moment ago about the changing ground game and how he thinks Obama has done this so differently. And nowhere can you see that perhaps more clearly than right here in Ohio, so different from just four years ago. Senator John Kerry came into this state and concentrated on the Democratic cities here and ended up losing Ohio by 118,000 votes and losing the White House with it. Ohio is a true bellwether. Charlie's pointed it out. No Republican has won without Ohio, but no Democrat has won without Ohio since John F. Kennedy. And so Obama has come in here four years later, and he's not only concentrated on the Democratic cities, but I'll give you two things to look for tonight in the difference in the ground game. He's gone out to the red counties, even the most culturally conservative counties, the south, a western corners, Hamilton County. From Phoenix, Arizona, we are joined by one of two U.S. senators almost always at the side of John McCain. Uh, whoops, I'm sorry, I, you are, you, uh, I was given the wrong information. Nancy, I'm so sorry. Uh, we were supposed to be talking to Senator, uh, Senator Lindsey Graham, uh, and, uh, and Nancy, you're here with us in, instead, and we're happy to see you. It's been a long time. Tell us uh, about the machinations inside the McCain campaign. We're, we're, we understand there's a very emotional piece of videotape. He came to the rear of the plane today and, and had one last chat with the traveling bunch of camera crews and reporters with him. Uh, what did he say and what's his mindset going into tonight? Well, well, John McCain, you know, you know, Senator McCain is such a fighter. He's such a, such a going to take that hill kind of guy. And he's somebody that, that really appreciates the people that have been in the trenches with him. And I'm, so I'm sure what he did was share his support and his uh, and just his gratitude for logging all those hours away from their families to cover this all important election, this historic election that has excited the country. So I think we're all we're very ramped up. We're very uh, we're very positive right now. But looking forward to a long night, I have to say. I had a huge cup of coffee about half an hour ago. Nancy, you're also realists, however, and at the top of our coverage, I said uh, the GOP is. Uh, holding its breath. Tom Brokaw put it a little differently, saying uh, seismologists are feeling the surface of the earth for uh, Temblers tonight. Uh, the, the polls have been against you for quite some time. Nationally, some of the battleground states look very dicey for you. Well, and we knew that the, we were going into a very stiff headwind. I mean, this is an extraordinarily difficult year for Republicans. And I think anybody other than John McCain, uh, if it had been any, anybody other than John McCain, we wouldn't be in the position where we're in, where I think we're going to hold those states. I think we're going to hold those states, and that we've got, we've got a path to victory here, and it's going to come down to the participation of the American people. And, you know, I have to say I agreed with a lot of what Valerie had to say. I, mean, I worked the phones yesterday for a couple of hours and called into Virginia and Pennsylvania, and folks, folks were excited. They were absolutely on voting. My husband's voting. My kids are coming home from college to vote. So this was just pretty exciting. All right. Nancy Fotenhauer, who's been one of the stalwart uh, spokespersons for the McCain effort going right on through the end of the campaign tonight into election night. Nancy, forgive me always for the mix-up at the top of the segment, and thank you for being no with us. Problem. We'll take another break in our coverage here as we look at some of the pictures of the gathering crowd in Grant Park, Chicago, Illinois. Again, it's early yet, 744 here in the East, 644 in Chicago. The crowd is building. Our coverage is among the big screens they're looking at. We'll continue right after this. You don't have to do all that. There's enough here for three months, Dad. Three months? How am I going to pay for it? It was only 10 bucks. Come on, for all of this? I got it at Walmart. Wow. Get Walmart's unbeatable prices on hundreds of popular prescriptions. A 90-day supply is just $10. Up to a 30-day supply is still only 4 No more skipping doses, okay? Promise. Cross my heart. Save money, live better. Walmart. Teen girls and guys are from two different planets. That's why there's new one-a-day teen advantage for her and for him. The only complete multivitamins designed for their specific health concerns, like her healthy skin. She was very good. I yeah, don't know what she, she said. I love what, what I could tell by the reading of her yeah, lips. Great suit. Yes. But that's the, uh, shows the benefit of the hologram, though. You, you don't have any of those crowds. We'll, we'll try to beam maybe Suzanne in, uh, in a little bit. Um, in, in terms of what the crowds, though, are, are going to be watching for tonight, what do you... What should uh, viewers be anticipating in the next, I mean, it's now 10 to 8. What should we be anticipating in the next half hour, an hour? I and mean, when do you think we're going to get 
some real numbers. I think we'll get Virginia. Virginia's uh, been pretty good about reporting pretty early, Anderson. And of course, Ohio is is another big state. I mean, this is a true toss up. We've talked about we've talked about Indiana being a toss up. Ohio a toss up. Should also point out the polls close in Pennsylvania in in about well, ten minutes yeah, from now at eight o'clock. Right. Pennsylvania the McCain campaign. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, David. They they have been saying they have to win in Pennsylvania. They, it's a must win for them. They, it, uh, there are so many ways Obama gets the so 270 <laughs> if if Obama wins Pennsylvania. And we do know that it was there was some closing there, but it was still about a seven point race, five point race uh, coming into the f final day. So it would be an upset for McCain to win Pennsylvania. But if he doesn't win Pennsylvania, it's very, very hard Bill, to say. Bill, Bill Bennett, do you believe these polls? I and mean, when you hear oh, it with seven points in Pennsylvania, you don't buy it. I don't believe them. We'll see. I mean, but we're, all, we're waiting. You're asking when, it, when we'll know. I don't know, but my feeling is pretty soon, and then it's going to flow fast. I think mm -hmm. we're going to know a lot yeah. pretty soon. We're going to know three or four or five states. But I don't buy them. And I, I, I've asked the same question you've asked about the exit polls. But mm. Why, why buy what, right, yeah. why, why even bother? So many caveats, you know, right. that, uh, and they're tricky because everybody wants to jump to a conclusion. Well, I mean, you look at the exit polls in New Hampshire during the primaries. I mean, first of all, you look at the polls before New Hampshire, Barack Obama was supposed to walk away with it. You look at the exit polls, Barack Obama was in the lead. Uh, Hillary Clinton won. No, but, no, but, no, but actually New Hampshire, if you look at the polls indicated New Hampshire, what Obama eventually got, the polls showed that. What John Edwards eventually got, the polls showed that. But the polls do not take into account all of a sudden an explos explosive number of voters and it does not account for people deciding on the day of no. and so and we so we stopped polling in new hampshire so four days before the primary and before hillary right. clinton okay. had a lot of one, one polls. thing that it's was consistent yeah. throughout the primaries was that obama did better in the exit polls than he did with the voters and i think that's an important what does that tell you late breakers you know, I, I, I don't know what it tells what, me but i just it's a theory it tells you that the bradley effect did seem to have died earlier that in other words, the Bradley effect said that the black candidate would do worse in the actual voting than he would do in the last polls. And in the primaries this year, Barack Obama actually came out about 3.3 percent higher but on average but across the exit all the states. Polls, he did There's, worse. Well, the exit polls are strained. I, I think I, I think Bill Bennett yeah. is exactly right. How do we figure out if these exit polls are off three or four or five points as they were with John Kerry? What is it we're looking at? Well, you know. some pollsters yeah. say that his his supporters, so Barack Obama's supporters, are so enthusiastic and younger, and they're more willing to stop and talk to somebody after they voted. Again, it all just makes the exit polls seem. But, but most importantly, though, what we are looking at now is real numbers. Yes, uh, we've right, got right. real numbers you can never uh, from seven o'clock, from seven thirty, <laughs> in about <laughs> five, <laughs> about seven minutes yes, from now. We're going to have real numbers from Mississippi, <laughs> Missouri, New Hampshire, Florida, Pennsylvania. The polls will be closing in all those states. Our coverage continues a lot more ahead. A very exciting night ahead. Also, check out CNN.com for all the latest political news and get the numbers as we get them. We'll be right back. with AT&T 3G speed. I can surf the internet fast, download attachments fast, and send them to my colleagues fast. Excuse me for a sec. Excuse me fast! Only AT&T has the new BlackBerry Bowl. The fastest BlackBerry ever.